Azerbaijan is heading to Turin with Nadir Rustamli and Fade to Black, but will it be fading out in the semi-finals? Let's review a vision. I just fall and knock my camera as well. Did I pronounce it right? No. Yeah, you did, you're okay. So yes, Azerbaijan is heading to Turin this year um, with a slight change of pace to last year, actually. Um, obviously, last year they sent Effendi with the iconic Matahari, which actually didn't do as well as we all kind of thought it would do uh, in the final, which was a bit of a surprise. But they're back this year. Definitely a change of tempo. Let's have a little listen uh, to Fade to Black. Fade to Black We fade to Black We live in a memory The present is a friend That was Azerbaijan's entry this year. Um, Jack, what do you make of it? I mean, uh, Azerbaijan is, it, it, it used to be one of the greats at Eurovision. And then they had a few sort of wobbly years. And then last year they were back. Massa Harry and Cleopatra was very good. Massa Harry was brilliant. Um, I sort of, when they embrace the, the, the sort of Middle Eastern-ness of it and they send something really Eastern, that's when Azerbaijan's at their best. And this is the complete opposite of that. This, a bit like Australia, could come from anywhere. And if you watch the music video, there is no way that was filmed in Azerbaijan. I don't know where it was filmed, but it doesn't look like it. It looks like it was sort of filmed in like a Swedish forest somewhere. And that's part of the issue. It feels like so many people have been involved in this. And so many, just, it, it, it's, it does nothing as airy about it it could genuinely come from anywhere and it's it it's just a nice ballad it's uh, i really don't have that much to say about it because it's i struggle to remember it when i'm thinking through all of the songs from this year this is one of the only ones that i genuinely forget exists and that's a problem because if, if there's nothing standing out about it why is anyone going to vote for it i mean clearly he can sing but you know, it's, I, I sort of copy and paste my comments from Australia. It's, you know, a voice isn't going to let, let you in Eurovision. You've got to have the substance to back it up. And this song is just not interesting enough to hold my attention. It's very bland. It's very beige. It's just, it, it literally fades from my memory. And that's not a good sign. And having come off Mata Harry, this is quite a big disappointment. It's just very generic and I think Azerbaijan can do better yeah I know what you mean as well because it kind of they built this up for ages was it one of the last it was the the last or one of the last songs to be announced yeah I think it was the last one I think yeah and it just yeah when Azerbaijan sends kind of Middle Eastern pop that's agreed it's when it's at its best so this kind of this feels very generic very kind of westernized and just um, yeah, it's a perfectly nice ballad. He's got a nice voice. He's got a nice tone. There's a little bit of like rasp, a little bit husky in there. But it's, yeah, it's it, compared to stuff like Effendi, it's just, it feels like, yeah, they could be sending something that shows a bit more kind of national identity and national pride rather than something that could have come from kind of any European country. But yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. So yeah, obviously, Azerbaijan. I was going to say as well, before we get any hate in the comments saying, oh, all we like is sort of generic pop, When the Music Dies from 2012 is one of my favourite Eurovision entries ever, full stop. And it's by far the best thing Azerbaijan has ever sent because it's it, it, it couldn't come from anywhere else. It's a it's beautifully sung. It's, it's an interesting song. It's a ballad that's clearly from Azerbaijan. And that, I think, is when... That, that's what we mean when we say Azerbaijan did our best. It's not just Matahari-style pop. It's not just always. It's not just that sort of ilk of music. They can yeah, do Yeah, because I'm also music. a really big fan of Truth by Chingis from 2018. And that was, you know, the one... Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're shaking your head. But I, like, I quite liked that. And it was... And that was kind of fairly bog-standard pop music but yeah it's, it's just one of those where you know there's a lot of this kind of music this year so it just doesn't particularly stand out yeah. um 
but yeah. So anyway, Azerbaijan is performing in the second semi-final. It's going fourth. Um, so Jack, do you think it's going to call? <coughs> Where have you put Sorry. it? Sorry. Oh, just having a coughing fit. I just coughed on my coffee. Oh, um, oh. Sorry, that was glamorous. Um, I think it could qualify. It, it could. It genuinely could. If the stage is memorable enough, then it could qualify. Would I put it through? Probably not, because it's quite generic. But again, he can sing. It'll be, again, copy and paste our Australia comments. It'll do well with the juries. Nobody will vote for it, televote-wise. And it'll not do that much in the final. So... It's my personal number 28 of the year. I don't think it's anything special at all. You know, it's... I Get back to, to proper Azerbaijan greatness next year, please. Yeah, I'm quite similar. I'm, I, Yeah, I agree. I'm not sure whether it'll get through or not. Um, it's just kind of one of them where it just depends how he does on the night, I think. Um, I've got ranked it slightly higher. It's my number 24. But yeah, again, it's very kind of... Can take it or leave it, really. Um, I, I'm where I am. Sorry. I was singing Malta. You said take it or leave it. And I was like, oh. Nice, nice. So, so tuned into Eurovision. Because I was like, like, what does that have to do with anything? Because, <laughs> yeah, I'm just so down with the kids. I know all of Malta's best songs, of course. Mm-hmm. But anyway, that's all we have time for for this episode. Do let us know what you think in the comments. Be nice. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell notification and you can always follow us on Instagram as well Um, but that's it, we'll see you next time